Teoscar Hernandez. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez. And he puts it on the ground to second. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. The first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero. At the plate now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. as he grounds one briskly to short. And that's through into left field for a base hit. And a good throw will wind up holding that runner at third, so the bases become loaded now with two gone. The catcher, number 10. To the plate now, Reese McGuire as he rips it on the ground to second. Throw on to first, and a good job of working out of that one with just limited damage as the inning is over. Digging in next will be Starling Marte. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here's the pitch. Swung on and blasted. No bunt cheese on that one. It's way gone. So here's Yohan Moncada. The third baseman. As he'll go after a curveball out of the zone to start the at bat. It's 0 1. A bouncer up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. That is third. The first baseman, Jose. So here's the slugging first baseman, Jose Abreu, now. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. Surprised the pitcher would even go to the top of the zone looking for a double play in this situation. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Ready now for the White Sox. Steven Vogt as yes, he'll get his first the opportunity in this one. Now a throw over, but he's safe at first as he gets back in time. He's set and the pitch. Now the 0-1. Fastball well outside. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Runner at first here, one man out. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Into the box, Yosmani Grandal. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Throw over to the bag, but he's safe at first as he gets back in time. From the stretch. Grandal is considered one of the best defensive catchers in the game today. He often gets praise for his work behind the plate, and I know a lot of pitchers have made it clear that his presence back there adds a level of comfort that not many others can replicate. And Matty, I don't know if he's always going to be a favorite for the gold glove, but you walk around this clubhouse, you hear these pitchers rave about throwing to this guy. That's all I need to hear. Here's a look over to first, and he is back safely at first, and that was almost trouble. First in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Stepping in, Billy McKinney. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And into bat next, the legacy Bo Bichette. First pitch on its way. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. Ooh. 
ground ball sent back up the middle and into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. Now back left field, Lourdes Gurriel. Stepping in now, Lourdes Gurriel. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. Bichette is on his way home. And a relay to the plate. And not in time as the run scores. Now back, number 44. Into the box, Rowdy Tellers. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. On a line, that's a base hit. The third baseman, number six, Travis Shaw. And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw. Lifted the other way out to left center. Robert is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. The tag from Grandal, and they get him at home plate. Plate, Luis Robert. He set to lead off the home half of the second. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was so late on that first pitch heater. Hit in the air to right field. Giving chase is Hernandez. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. That is that. Digging right in field. now, Nomar Mazar. Oh, oh. He'll get to take his first oh, cuts here. Oh, oh. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And that misses ball one. Swing and a miss at the bender, and it's even at one and one. One out, nobody on. Fouled away. The one two. And here's a curveball that's laid off that time. It's full three and two. Got him. Stepping up now, Tim Anderson will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. First delivery to him on the way. Starts him out with a cutter and he gets him to swing through at one strike. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Here it comes. High fly ball out to straightaway center. McKinney is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Top of the third set to get underway and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman Kyle Seeger. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. There's no way around it. This has been a rough start on the mound, so it'll be interesting to see how long that man is going to let him go. Maybe he settles in and can give you another inning or so, but I wouldn't bet on it at this point. Moncada's there for it, and there's one gone. So the base is empty here with one away, and striding into the plate next will be Teoscar Hernandez. Here comes the first pitch. 
Help, one and oh. The 1 0 home. Misses, ball two. No ball. Lots of hits given up, but so far, no walks. At least he's making them work to get on base. Problem is. A swing and a shot hit down the corner, and it's a foul ball. Four to one's our score here in inning number three. Popped him up. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And Vladimir Guerrero Jr. settles in at the plate. Now here it comes. Hit sharply on the ground. That gets through and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Now batter. Number 10. Standing in now, Reese McGuire, as he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Swing and a miss, and he's in control, 0-2. Real ugly 0-1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout, knowing you have this guy way off balance. And a check swing. They'll appeal down to third. No swing is the signal from Freddie Ferguson. It's ball one. The one two. Hit back up the middle. Off balance throw gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. Bottom of the third now, and that'll bring forth the veteran the outfielder, Leori Garcia. The second baseman, Leori. First delivery to him on the way. Lays off 1 0. Ball one, no strike. Rounded back up the middle. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. The center fielder, number two, Sterling. Here's Sterling Marte. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 0. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. And he takes a cold strike one. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And it's 1 and 2. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. A bouncer up the middle. There's one. On to first to complete the double play. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the former top prospect as a minor leaguer, Yohan Moncada. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. The wind up and the 0 1. 1 and 1. And he couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Left fielder looking up and that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. Up next to Chicago. So here's Jose Abreu. As he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. Down 0 2 to a guy with this much weaponry, five pitches he can go to, not looking good. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Billy McKinney. He was a ground out victim last time up. Billy McKinney.
He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a liner. And that's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. In now, Bo Bichette. Yes, he'll pick on the first pitch and line one back up the middle, and that's a base hit. Into the box now, Lourdes Guriel. He swings and grounds it to short. To second for one, to Abreu for the big double play. Ready for another now chance? Back. Rowdy Tellez, runner in scoring position with Sugan. First pitch of the at bat. No balls and a strike to count. Here's a moment where you got to be a great teammate. Pick your buddy up who just grounded into a double play. I don't care what it looks like single, gapper, homer, just get that guy in from third and get your team back motivated again. Count now a ball and a strike. The 1 1. Nope. That's inside. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. We're starting to see a lot more balls from him now, and that's a direct result of him getting hit around pretty good. He's trying to do something different, and it's resulting in him not tacking the strike zone anymore. Three two pitch. Gets him looking up around the letters. Stepping up to the plate, Stephen Vogt, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Vogt's in a hole, 0 and 2 to him. Two mid-90s fastballs, and you're down 0-2. This is where you got to take a deep breath and pot commit. You're either all in on another fastball or you're finding a way to stay back to attack something off speed. And maybe trying to get him off stride at the plate so he'll step out and ask for time. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. The 0-2 once more. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off. Maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. High fly ball out to straightaway center. McKinney's there for it. One away. So one away now here with the bases empty. And that'll bring up Yasmani Grandal. Here comes the first pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. 0 oh and 1 count and the pitch. And he goes down and gets this fastball and takes it high in the air to deep straightaway center. If you don't eat the meat, you can't have any pudding. How can you have any pudding if you don't eat your meat? At the plate, Luis Rubber. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Guerrero is under it, two gone. And now the power hitting outfielder, Nomar Mazzara, looking to put the ball to. In play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. 
And now pitch on the way. And it's fouled away. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. ready to go in the top of the fifth and set to go as the third baseman the Travis third Shaw baseman, number six Travis Shaw first pitch on its way smoke toward the hole reined in and the fifth oh. inning will start with a ground out one away now to the plate, the Kyle Seeger. He's working on a one for two game Kyle so far. Seager. Fastball too high to start him out here, one and oh. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking. Oh, and here's a drive. Well hit out to straightaway center. And off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. Okay, Oscar Hernandez digging in now. The right fielder. Yes, he comes up empty on a pitch right down the middle for strike one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 2 now. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's 1 and 2. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Now batter. Ready now. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Couple of singles to his credit thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. Chased out of the zone there, and he's down two strikes. Man, this guy's been locked in all game long. I don't know where that ugly swing just came from. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. The 2 2. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. Now the pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. After it is Marte. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. Now battle. Number 10. To the plate now, Reese McGuire. As he'll take a look at ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Lined hard toward right center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. Guerrero blows through the stop sign, headed for home. He scores. And it's now 6 to 3. The throw, and he's tagged out at third. But one run does come in to score on the play before the inning comes to an end. Leading off for the White Sox, the shortstop. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Anderson. Tim Anderson. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And there's ball one. The one one is laid off for ball two. Fouled off. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. And he makes the throw to first. Anderson is retired, and there's one away. Up next to Chicago, 
Now at the plate, Leori Garcia, one for one after a single this first time up. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first, digging for two. And he'll pull into second with one away. Right-handed reliever standing 6-3 gets the ball now out of the bullpen. A throw behind the runner at second, and he will thankfully make it back to second as he almost got caught out there. And he'll turn and throw back to second again. But he gets back in time safe at second base. So now to the plate, Starling Marte, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Heading out towards shallow right, waiting on it is Hernandez, two gone. And no tag at second, he'll head back there with two away now. Next to bat will be the Cuban import, Yon Moncada. He's off to a fast start in this one, two for two, including a home run. The last at bat, Matty B. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Quantrill, just 24 years of age, he's in his rookie year here at the big league level. Swing and a miss got him reaching. Up with it, McGuire. And that ends the inning. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And in to hit next, the speedy Billy McKinney. Kelvin Herrera takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 41, Kelvin Herrera. First pitch on its way. Here's a fly ball well hit. Mazzara's under it. Makes the play one away. So coming to the plate, Bo Bichette. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. To short. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Now at the plate, Lourdes Gurriel. So far, two for three in this one. Gurriel. First delivery to him on the way. Back up the middle. That's through a base hit, and he's got his third hit of the game. Now battle. Number 44. Stepping in now, Rowdy Tellers. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's two for three and looking for more here. A one pitch on its way. Well below the knees laid off on the change up there. And he fouls this one off. The one two. Line down the left field line. But this is going to get foul. Two out with the man at first. Grounded to first. Fielded by Abreu. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. Leading off the inning, Jose Abreu, as they'll look to get something going.
open this game up. Here comes the first pitch. And a half-hearted swing there as he tried to go the other way, and it's strike one. Maybe getting a little jumpy in the box, so he steps out and asks for time. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Pitch popped up. Bichette moving to his left. He's got it one away. So here's the cleanup hitter, Stephen Vogt, 0 for 2 for him to this point. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 and 1. Three runs, six hits, and no errors so far for the White Sox. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Hit down the line at first. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Now a big swing, and this ball is rushed out to deep center field. And gone! An absolute bomb. And here's the switch hitting catcher, Yasmani Grandal. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He's one for two in this one. 2 0 now. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2 0, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. Fouled away. The 2 and 1 on its way. Bases are empty, one man out. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third, and no swing. It's ball three. Here comes the payoff pitch. Hit back up the middle. On to first, and there were two down. Up next for Chicago, Luis Robert. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at-bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. In the air out toward right field. Giving Chase is Hernandez. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Travis Shaw. Number six, Travis Shaw. Jimmy Cordero is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 15. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Help one and zero. Oh, and not a swing for the bubblegum card there. It's one and one. You're short. Hit hard. And that's through into left. So a leadoff single here to start the seventh. Now back. Second base. Kyle. At the plate now. 
Kyle Seeger. And a first pitch swing. He hits a fly ball to left center. Robert comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. So a runner at first now with one away. And striding into the plate next will be Teoscar Hernandez. Has a look. Now the pitch. This one's down to third. Moncada fields it cleanly. Throw back to Abreu. They get them both. And the side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And Here next to bat will be the outfielder, Nomar Mazar. Even though. We're moving into the back end of this game. They're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Thomas Pannone gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Emo Jimenez is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. And he takes ball one. Ball one, no strike. On a grade school swing there, it's one and one. Now he'll step out at the plate and reassess things here. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Keeping it down here as it's to 1 and 2. Really deceptive changeup right there. It died right before the plate, and he was left reaching for air. Hot shot to third. Shaw fields it cleanly, and that's out number one. And the next to bat will be Tim Anderson. He went down on strikes last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Line drive to center field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Around second now, and they still haven't flagged this one down. And he's in there at third with a one-out triple. Into the box, Leury Garcia. A swing and a ground ball to third. And it's not in time. He's safe. As they also push across a score to make it a one-run game. Into the box now, Starling Marte. In the dirt here. Runners on first with one down. Rounded down the third baseline, but that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Now time granted here at the plate as he'll step out of the box. Oh, on the ground to short. Could this be two? One there. Throw on to first. Won't be in time, so they just get the one there. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring up the former top prospect as a minor leaguer, Yohan Moncada. Quick check on that tying run at first. But he's safe at first as he gets back in time. And another throw over, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Once more, a throw over. And he is in there. And again, a throw over, and he's safe. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. 
And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Looking to throw back to second, but he gets back in time safe at second base. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. The set and the 2 1. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. And as is heard on television all throughout Chicago land, you can't put it on the ball. Wilmer Font takes over pitching duties looking to get that final out now here in this seventh inning. In now Jose Abreu as he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Swing and a miss and he's in trouble now 0 and 2. Now time is barked out by the home plate umpire. Oh and two here it comes got him and he goes down on strikes for the third time new inning set to get underway and next to battle will be the first baseman Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. away swing and a miss on the slider and that's out number one stepping in for the Jays Reese McGuire number 10 Steve Ciszek gets the call as he'll pitch with one gone in the top of the eighth. Number 31, Steve Ciszek. First pitch coming, here it is. Wheat grounder down the first baseline. And he'll take no chances here as he swipes this ball away. It stays a foul ball. Ciszek was known as a short relief specialist a guy who came in got one or two big outs but with the new pace of play rules they're forcing a change for this right hander behind 0 and 2 now one out nobody on swing and a liner that gets down and he's got himself a base hit 
Number nine batter comes through that time as it'll now be up to the top of the order with one away. Now batter, the center fielder, Oscar Mercado. Standing in now, Oscar Mercado, as he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. Cichet was born in Massachusetts. He's got a sinker, a slider, and a four-seamer. From the stretch. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Digging in, Bo Bichette. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. First pitch on its way. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. He said, here's the 0-1. One A runner on first with two away. Line toward the gap in left center. And this is hauled in on the run as he takes quite a tumble but hangs on. And the inning is over. Bottom of the inning now. And now it'll be the catcher, Stephen Vogt. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. On a line, that's a base hit. So with that, the White Sox put their leadoff hitter aboard to start the inning. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. Adam Engel will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Number 15, Adam. First things first, here's a throw over. But he's safe at first as he gets back in time. And again a throw. And he will hasten his way back to first where he's in there safely. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Seven runs, 11 hits, and no errors so far for the White Sox. And another throw over, and he is back safely at first, and that was almost trouble. Another throw over. Throw won't get him. And yet another throw over. And he is in there. A runner at first with no outs here. And again a throw. And they got him. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. Hernandez is back to the warning track. And he's able to put it away for the second out. Ready for another shot now. Luis Robert. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Hit sharply but foul down the right side. Behind 0 and 2 now. Hi. 
Nothing in two count and the pitch. Got him swinging. Made him chase outside the zone that time and that puts an end to the inning. All set to start the ninth in this one and that brings up the exciting Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Lourdes Gurriel. the stretch here's the pitch hey I don't blame this guy right here I would have took the first pitch myself well you got his kneecaps and elbows coming at you on its way the 0 1 pitch this is swung on and lifted down the left field line but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now 0 and 2 you can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitchers off speed stuff Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Here's a shot to left field and deep. That one is out of here. This game is tied. The bat. Aaron Bummer, a southpaw standing six foot three, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Number 39. Rendell Britcher will come on now as the pinch hitter. Your attention, please. In hitting for Toronto, number 15, Randall Britcher. And now it appears the outfield will shift and assume a more straight up alignment. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0 1. Here's the pitch. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour, but it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Another 0-2. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he's set down for the first out. The the Into the box now, Travis Bradley. Shaw. Two hits in Shaw. four attempts to this point. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. So a rather weak start to the at-bat as he misses badly there. It's 0-1. Hey, I can't have one of my best left-handed power bats fishing for balls off the plate. Here's the 0-1. Well, oh, he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. After that off-balance swing right there, you find yourself down 0-2 and wishing you were back on deck with the donut on your bat, visualizing hitting a home run. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Second baseman, Kyle Hugo. From the stretch. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Robert is under it and he makes the catch for out number three. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And standing in the outfielder, Elo Jimenez. The left fielder, Jimenez. First pitch on its way. 
This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Center fielder giving chase, but he can't make a play on it. And it hops into the stands to boot for a ground rule double. Seven. So now the winning run is into scoring yeah. position. Bradley Zimmer will come on now and pinch run here. Now running at second base. Number four, Bradley Zimmer. Pickoff move to second, but he gets back in time safe at second base. At the plate, Tim Anderson. As he'll lay off a slider too low, ball one. And he's got a chance to bring in the winning run. The question is whether they'll even pitch to him. Fastball at 96 on the radar gun, and it's one and one. The one and one pitch. A possible winning run on second. No one out. Now a pickoff play at second, and he will thankfully make it back to second as he almost got caught out there. And every pitch so crucial in a tie ball game, so he'll step out and ask for time. Now the one and two pitch. This pitch is popped up, and this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. So digging in with a chance to win it here, Leori Garcia, as he'll look to get the ball into the outfield and bring home what would be the winning run from second base. But he gets back in time safe at second base. Here's the first pitch. In the dirt, and now let's see. The throw will go to third, and he'll hurry back to second here as he was wise to not push it that time. Possible game winners at second base here with one away. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. And that ball is gone! Santa Maria, game over! to be a hero and hit one of those walk-off game-winning home runs. So you know right now when he's getting mobbed by his teammates, he has to feel awfully good. And they did some damage offensively in this one, enough to get the win, and this man led the charge. He's our tops player of the game. Well, he blasted a couple of balls over the wall in this one, really put the guys on his back, and carried him to the victory. 9-7, to seven, the final score in this ballgame. Chicago hit six home runs as a team on the...